episode on wisdom mathematics tutorial on complex numbers. We have a question which says convert the complex number 6 plus 8i to Euler form. Now, in our previous videos on complex numbers, we have talked about different forms of a complex number. Which one of them is Euler form? Now, this conversion is to convert this complex number in rectangular form to Euler form. For us to do that, we have to know the form of complex number known as Euler form. Euler form of complex number is given as z equal to r exponential i theta, where this r is the modulus and this theta is the argument. Now, this particular complex number is already in the general form, which is z equal to x plus i y. So this x is the real part, and this y is the imaginary part. Now, for us to get this Euler form, we are going to find the values of r and the value of theta. And for us to do that, we are going to make use of the real part and the imaginary part of this complex number given. Now, when we compare the general form to the given complex number, we have that x is equal to 6 and y is equal to 8. That is, z equal to x plus i y. We compare this to this and this to this. So y is 8 and x is 6. Now, for us to get our modulus, which is r, we use the formula r equal to square root of x squared plus y squared, which when we substitute, we are going to have 6 squared plus 8 squared, and our r is going to be square of 6 is 36, and square of 8 is 64, which when added together, we are going to have 100, and the square root of 100 is equal to 10. So 10 is the modulus of this complex number. We are through with this part. Now, let's look at how to get our argument. For us to get the argument of this complex number, we use the formula argument equal to tan inverse of y all over x. Since our y is 8 and x is 6, we are going to say that this is tan inverse of 8 all over 6. And tan inverse of 8 over 6 is going to give us it's going to give us 53.130 which when we approximate to nearest whole number we are going to get 53 degrees. So now we have the values of the modulus and the argument as 53 and 10. We are going to substitute the two of them into this expression. We have our 10 as modulus and 53 as our argument. Once we have that, our question is already solved. Now, we have that the Euler form is going to be z equal to 10 exponential i 53, where theta is equal to 53 and r is equal to 10. So when we compare this to this, you see that this 10 is just this r. They are on the same position, that is this. Now, this 53 is for theta. Where we have theta here, we are going to replace it with this 53. So the Euler form is now 10 exponential i 53. This is the Euler form of this complex number. Thanks for watching. Okay.